Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose, this is Delilah's Spiritual Spot. We're gonna jump right into your reading for November 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Please take this opportunity to like, share, <clears throat> and subscribe to this channel. Also hit the notification button because I go live here with free mini readings every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The future. A lot of us are contemplating what the future holds and taking taking control of our own future. Mystery, right? Because you're still in the choice phase. I'm going to pull a tarot card here using my um, Dame Darcy Mermaid Tarot. Those flew out, so I am going to use them. You have the Five of Swords here, so lots of lots of fighting, lots of fighting. Um, it's interesting that it came out with this Knight of Wands because this could potentially lead into a relationship, a uh, relationship read, or it could be you're you're finally going after your desires. But we'll see when we get further and excuse me for the burping i tend to do that when i channel spirit for my readings if they make me burp i don't I have any idea why i'm going to be pulling three cards subconscious conscious and advice from spirit we'll just get into this capricorn does capricorn need to know All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles here in our subconscious mind. We have the Seven of Matches here, or the Seven of Wands in our conscious, or what's happening now, our, our now energy. We have the Five. We have the Five of Pentacles, sorry, in our um, advice column slash outcome. We have the two of swords clarifying this knight of buttons or knight of pentacles. We have the four of matches clarifying this set of of matches or seven of wands. We have the page of wands clarifying this five of buttons. The bottom of the deck we have three of cups which is a celebration card so there is victory coming here. <clears throat> I, just, I just need a minute to focus. I mean, this reading does involve a relationship, but the relationship is not the focus. Um, and for many uh, readings I've had, the focus has been on you and how you are handling your life and your situation. Because with this 2020, this upheaval, there's been like a mass reawakening. And so we find a lot of ourselves taking back our power, our energy, and figuring things out and not relying on someone else to provide for us on any level, on an emotional level, on a spiritual level. We're navigating our own way. So it's more on getting to the point of self-reliance, which I think is awesome. Right here, so you've got triple fives. Right, so triple fives, let's talk about that angel number. It's huge changes are up ahead, which is basically what I was saying. Trust that this transition is your highest good. Pre prepare for massive shifts. Things are getting exciting for you because again, you're taking back your power. Here we have the future, right? And the mystery of that. You know, a lot of us are not the masters of our own fate. We don't own our own businesses, but I think now the push, um, especially for the younger generation, I'm 45 years old, is to own something and do something and be your own boss and be in charge of yourself, right? So we're worrying about that. You need to put aside the fighting because the fighting with yourself and your emotions and the fighting with others who have opinions on how you should lead your life is very loud for you. And I think that that's what the issue is. This Nine of Wands, it 
could be relationship issues because it came out simultaneous, simultaneously with um, the Five of Swords. But I just think for you, this means, I think it means two things. I think that if you don't have a supportive partner, that's what the fight is. And, you know, there needs to be some kind of communication, uh, which we'll talk about here, and some type of um, coming or meeting of the minds so that you can get that fire lit in your belly to go after your goals, Capricorn. Here you're worried about it. We have the King of Pentacles here. So you are worried about, you know, how it is you're going to obtain or attain your goals. So that is your main focal point. With this two of needles, you figure, you're figuring out which avenue you should take. Maybe should I go back to school? Should I find another job? Should I start my own business? Should I start a YouTube channel? So these are things where you're, where I'm not a Capricorn. These are things you are thinking about and it's weighing on your mind in your subconscious mind. Here in your conscious or what it is you're accomplishing now, the vibe that is now, you have the seven of matches or the seven of wands. So you are convicted in what it is you're trying to do. So you do have that strong conviction. You're going to get it done. I'm going to do that. It's clarified by the celebration card. So the celebration card here, um, it's about bringing back harmony. It's about achievement. It's about celebration, celebrating that you, that you are living your best life on your terms. I love that. When we move into the advice column here, don't be afraid of the hardships. Not everything takes off like, like a bullet. You know, sometimes slow and steady wins the race. And ultimately you are, you have another celebration card by the three of cups. Ultimately you are going to be successful and, and do the things you want. But don't worry about the hard times in between. It makes you stronger. It teaches you how to think of things in a different way to, to go around the circles to reach your ultimate goal. This is clarified by the page of matches, which is saying, if you take the initiative during this hard times, you don't have to worry because you're still going to be able to get to where you need to go. Um, in, ter in terms of your goals. I'm going to pull some additional cards here just to further drive home the point that Spirit wants. Right. Here we have the Seven of Staves. This warns us not to carry more than we can chew. Again, don't be afraid of the hardships battle one thing at a time. Slow and steady wins the race. It's basically coming out in the cards, what I said. Don't let your anxieties get the better of you. Um, and I did talk about that when we talked about this Five of Swords. That's the vibe. That's you fighting you. You seeing that things are not taking off as quickly as you would like. And then um, you're having the self-doubt. Here's your, here it is again, another five. You are being directed and guided um, to your ultimate greatest good because again, the advice from spirit, just putting the exclamation point is stop looking at what you lost or maybe what you did wrong, time wasted. Look at that, that you still have time. You still have energy. You still have resources to move forward. Just turn back to see the fruits of your labor, right? Because you're focusing on the negative. Here it is. Here it is, the ultimate outcome with the celebration card and the eight of pentacles because you are working. You're plugging away. Just keep doing that. Keep plugging away little by little, chipping away at your goals. You're going to be successful, Capricorn. Remember, this is for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. So take what is relevant to you. What is not, leave it behind for someone else. I'm Delilah Rose, and this is Delilah's Spiritual Spot.